Today, we're taking you on an exciting journey back in time. We're going to reveal 20 even more surprising money-saving tips from the 1950s. So fasten your seatbelts and let's get started. Tip one, homemade toys. Did you know in the 1950s, kids didn't always have store-bought toys? Instead, parents often made toys at home, crafting dolls from old rags or carving wooden blocks into toy cars. The toys were not only special, but also cost-effective. Homemade toys can be an economical alternative to expensive store-bought playthings, and making them can also be a fun bonding experience. Tip 2. Wear it out mentality. Next, we've got the wear it out mentality. In the 1950s, people didn't replace things until they were absolutely unusable. This was true for everything from clothes to household appliances. Today, This mindset could be a game changer for our throwaway culture, leading to significant cost savings and environmental benefits. Tip three, home haircuts. Ever thought of cutting your hair at home? Well, in the 1950s, people often did their own haircuts. With a good pair of scissors and a bit of practice, you can save money on salon visits and create a look that is uniquely yours. Tip four, solar cooking. Here's something you might not expect from the 1950s. Solar cooking. Using the sun's energy, folks would slow cook their meals, saving on fuel and utilities. This technique is not only a great way to save on energy costs, but it's also eco-friendly. Tip 5. Window farming. Now, let's move to window farming. Growing herbs and small vegetables on the windowsills was a common practice in the 1950s. This trick can significantly reduce your grocery bill and ensure you always have fresh produce right at your fingertips. Tip 6. Fireplace cooking. Fireplaces in the 1950s were multipurpose. Besides providing heat, families would use the embers to slow cook meals or bake bread. This technique saved on fuel and electricity costs and added a unique smoky flavor to the food. Tip 7. Seasonal eating. Seasonal eating. This was not a fancy concept, but a way of life in the 1950s. People ate what was locally available and in season, ensuring freshness and saving money. This tip can still be applied today to cut down grocery bills and enjoy more flavorful meals. Tip 8. Mushroom foraging. We'll get to that in a second. I have a favor to ask of you. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. Foraging for food, particularly mushrooms, was another common practice in the 1950s. It's important to note that foraging should only be done if you're knowledgeable about the plants in your area to avoid consuming harmful species. Tip 9. Cloth diapers. Now, this might be a tough one for modern parents, but cloth diapers were the norm in the 1950s. Switching to cloth diapers could save you a fortune in the long run, and it's more environmentally friendly than disposable ones. Tip 10. Refillable pens. Did you know that in the 1950s, people didn't use disposable pens as we do now? They had refillable pens. It's a small change, but it can save money and help reduce waste. Tip 11, mail and rebates. In the 1950s, people often used mail and rebates to get cash back on purchases. Today, while this process is more digital, seeking out cash back offers is still a viable way to save. Tip 12, outdoor activities. Free entertainment was easily found outdoors in the 1950s. Families enjoyed hikes, picnics, and neighborhood baseball games. These activities are not only fun and healthy, but also light on the wallet. Tip 13. Handmade gifts. When it comes to gift giving, the 1950s knew it's the thought that counts. Handmade gifts were appreciated for appreciated for their personal touch. Not only can this save you money, but it also makes your gifts more meaningful. Tip 14. Woodworking. Being handy was a prized skill in the 1950s. Many people were proficient in woodworking, enabling them to make and repair their own furniture. Learning a bit of woodworking could save you a significant amount of money on home repairs and decor. Tip 15. Knitting and crocheting. Knitting and crocheting were more than just hobbies. They were crucial skills in the 1950s. By knitting or crocheting your own scarves, sweaters, and blankets, you can save money and create truly unique pieces. Tip 16. 
collecting and selling scrap metal. Next up is an entrepreneurial tip from the 1950s. Collecting and selling scrap metal was a small but effective way to make some extra cash. If you're handy and know your metals, this could still be a worthwhile venture. Tip 17. Learning to do basic car maintenance. Car repairs can quickly drain your wallet. However, most people in the 1950s knew how to handle basic car maintenance, such as changing the oil or replacing a flat tire. Learning these skills can save you a substantial amount of money. Tip 18. Using a clothesline. Using a clothesline might seem old-fashioned, but it was standard in the 1950s. It's a straightforward way to save electricity, and it keeps your clothes in better condition than a harsh dryer. Tip 19. Video as entertainment. Before TVS became ubiquitous, families would gather around the radio for entertainment. Today, with the availability of internet radio, podcasts, and music streaming services, the radio can still provide cost-effective entertainment. Tip 20. Propagating plants. Lastly, propagating plants was a common practice in the 1950s. Instead of buying new plants, people would grow new ones from cuttings. It's a cost-effective way to keep your home filled with greenery and fresh air. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to our channel for more money-saving tips and tricks. Remember, sometimes the old ways really are the best ways.